This is 21st Century Reformation at 21stcr.org. Chapter 3 of this wonderful book. It's mm. just full of wonderful things. Mm. I think uh, riches and mm. treasures of wisdom mm. and understanding mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. beautiful things to talk about. Mm -hmm. The third chapter then, uh, Paul says to Timothy, the saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Mm. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife. Three, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, uh, able to teach, mm -hmm. not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well with all dignity, keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may become puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must be well thought of by outsiders, so that he may not fall into disgrace, mm -hmm. into a snare of the devel mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, power pack stuff, isn't it? It is, yes. my goodness. I think most people are unaware of the fact that an overseer is the same as a bishop, is the same as an elder yeah. and a, a pastor too. In the New Testament, it's generally agreed, I think, by all scholars now, those are different names for the same Same office, office same position, same, same effort. The pastor and the elders right. being those. Although we may do that in our system, we, we've centralized the power mm -hmm. Perhaps not always wisely in one person. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you have a group of elders. You could have a senior elder. Of course, you could not pay them all. If finances don't allow. You could pay none of them right. if they want to do it free, whatever. Lots of possibilities, but it's not the hierarchical system that developed in the mm -hmm. Roman Catholic Church of all power concentrated mm -hmm. in the, the bishop and the archbishop Sorry, necessarily. Yeah, yeah. But that's just a, a point that's generally agreed these days. Yeah. I think that there has traditionally been a lot of uh, misunderstanding mm. Uh, related to these terms and phrases, overseer, elder, bishop. Yes. They're actually, as you say, they're just really the same thing. Yes. Different terms all... From a different angle. Basically, exactly. yeah, yeah. Describing yes. the same, yes. uh, same effort. Nice same pictures, thing. aren't they? A pastor is one sure. who shepherds the sheep, shepherd, overseer yes. keeps an eye, sure. and so on. Yes, not complicated, not no. difficult. No, and, uh, yeah. and it's really odd to see systems developed where that uh, you have... The, here are the pastors, yeah. and then you have the bishops, yeah. and, you have, and it's all artificial, I yes. think. There's no basis yes. for any of that. It concentrated power uh, unnecessarily <coughs> in the top dog, I think. Right, this was right. easier than to enforce these doctrinal things later. Mm -hmm. That's not the way Paul sees it. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very much, as, as a, a European, um, interested in verse 3, not addicted to wine. That's right. Ah, yes, yes. The addiction to wine is mm -hmm. very different from a moderate drink occasionally. Mm -hmm. And when you go to Europe, you know, this is... Very customary in sure. many countries. Yeah. But addicted to wine is what he means. Not given to wine. Heaven forbid, you mm -hmm. know, somebody who's at the bar uh, knocking it back all day long. Uh, that's mm -hmm. the worst possible This can't image. possibly work. Cannot yeah. possibly sure. be right. That's right. But there are some translations try to get rid of that, and they said he mustn't have any wine at all. Right. But that was simply to read their own tradition. Mm -hmm. So not addicted to wine is what the Greek says. And not a fine, not pugnacious, not mm -hmm. somebody who's after, looking after mm -hmm. arguments, looking to arguments. Right, right, right. Heaven forbid. Gentle, peaceable, mm -hmm. free from the love of money. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, I like that a lot. Aren't these yeah. qualities that every sane person mm -hmm. really admires, you know? Yes. Uh, so there is... There is a moral character that would be expected Absolutely. of folks that yes. are in these yes. places. These oh, one places. other point, too, in verse 1, then, verse 1 of chapter 3. If he wants to be a bishop, overseer, uh, pastor, and so on, it's a fine work he desires to do. Ah, yes. Notice you don't have to have a blinding call from God, necessarily. Right. That, yeah, that's in, right. in individual cases, God can do this as he wills. But if you've got it in your heart to be an elder, go for it, Right. provided you have the following qualifications. I like that. Right. And uh, and this is uh, a noble noble thing. Noble thing. Wonderful uh, noble yeah. thing and but uh, but keep in mind that though one may have this desire nevertheless uh, 
a moral character is expected oh, and an so. an ability to do this yep. this effort this mm -hmm. task to be fair to the people who are to be helped mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure the helper is really capable able, of, able you know. to teach I mean that's sure. quite, quite yeah. a demand it, isn't that it's nice? not very easy for Surely. some yeah. not everybody's a natural teacher but he he needs to be able to do all that's these right. things not uh, quarrelsome mm -hmm. But uh, not being quarrelsome doesn't mean that they're not a person who wouldn't take a stand for exactly. what's true and right. Very true. You know, uh, in an appropriate way. Yes, but, uh, yeah, they have to be solid people. Yes. But uh, I, I think this is an interesting thing, too. You have to wonder at times. Uh, not a lover of money. Mm. Uh, it, I think it should concern us as mm -hmm. Christians when we see mm -hmm. entire ministries or yes. preachers who, if, uh, if you wanted to think about it, they spend as much time talking about money as they do anything else. Sometimes more. I Very think. bad time. Yeah, this is not a good indication that, <laughs> that things are well. signals, I think. Yeah, are we, and, and it's not wrong of Christians no. to look at that and say, I think there's probably something wrong yeah. here. This isn't right. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, it's appropriate that Christians would have that sense of maturity right. and judgment to be able right. to look at something and say, that's not, that's just not doesn't, right. That doesn't smell it, right. No, there's something wrong here. And uh, the love of money yes. is... It's uh, a root of all evil, not yeah. the root exactly, so right. elsewhere it's not the, the ultimate cause of all evil. Right. It's a possible yeah. root yes. of all kinds all of evil. All kinds of evil, that's well, right. Of course, yeah. that's yeah. self-evident as we think right. about it. Wow. But, uh, so um, I think that uh, uh, Paul here, in laying these things out, is, is recognizing that there might be those who, who might have an interest in taking this role of mm -hmm. overseer mm -hmm. or pastor, but they would not really be able to do that because right. they're not, not in various ways qualified to do that particular yeah. work. Right. So uh, that's interesting. Uh, but, and uh, uh, if Paul, uh, Paul was concerned that this person should not be a lover of money, mm -hmm. I think if Paul were here today, he would he would also be troubled when he sees oh, ministers yes. and ministries today that seem to be too much about money. Sometimes seemingly all about money, but uh, very and, very bad. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not very, very impressed bad. by all this business about sowing financial seed no. and all that. No, no, no. I mean, there's not a, really a scriptural. No. I think we're twisting no. scriptures no. for our personal gain no. there at times. Well, I say we, those yeah. who do that. Yeah. Uh, it's not good. No, not good at all. Not at all uh, a good sign. And both and twice here he talks about um, the devil getting the advantage. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Verse 6, it's important, I think, to translate correctly with the NASV here. Not a new convert, mm -hmm. so that he will not become conceited and fall into the condemnation incurred by the devil. Wow, yes. It's a little bit ambiguous, just mm -hmm. the uh, condemnation of the devil. Mm -hmm. Now here the idea is... The same condemnation that the devil fell into, mm -hmm. that proves, first of all, there is a devil, and he became right. evil. He was not always yeah, evil. Yeah. He wasn't created evil. He right. fell into condemnation. Wow, yes. When that was exactly, was it yeah. when he saw Adam and Eve created mm -hmm. in the garden, or was it before? It doesn't matter. Right. But he became guilty, right. and so exercised his free will. Right. An angel had free will right. at that point. And then in the seventh verse, he must have a good reputation from those outside so that he will not fall into the reproach and snare of the devil. That yes. would be the sense that the devil could snare him. Yes, opposite way. yes. But we need well. to be quite sure that God did not create an evil angel and then punish him for being evil. <laughs> right. That would indict yeah. God very well. Right, badly. certainly. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I like this thought, too, in passing. He's talking about not a, not a novice, not a new convert. Mm. I think there is a wisdom there, a wisdom of Paul and of God, yeah. that yes. to recognize that if you have a new convert, perhaps someone mm. who's, who's uh, sharp and alert and learning and growing, but if he is uh, perhaps too quickly thrust into a position of authority, right. one of the things that Paul's concerned about is that that person may then actually become puffed up or conceited and say, look how, how good I am or how powerful or how rich or in how faithful. Uh, yeah, how much I, I know. Yeah. And uh, so now I'm over others who are even older than me. Right. 
it, it for someone who's not mature enough in faith, can this can become a real pitfall of right. failing. The other side of that coin, of course, is that uh, knowledge puffs up, Paul says. Mm, yes, people yes, take yes. one verse to the exclusion of others. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, my people are destroyed in two in two verses. In, in Isaiah right, and for the lack of knowledge. For a lack of knowledge, right. they're, yeah. they're going to rack and ruin. Exactly. They need knowledge desperately, yes. but not if it's going to puff them up. Right. Uh, which begins to defeat the very purpose of, course, of good knowledge. Right. So, you, yeah. so knowledge is actually, true knowledge is, is, is not an optional thing. No. We must have true Absolutely. knowledge Genuine of true knowledge. things. Yeah. Otherwise, how could we act upon yes. these things if we, that's uh, so many of the things we've talked about. You know, you have to have true knowledge mm -hmm. of who God is mm -hmm. in order to have your faith properly attuned right. uh, to these things. Yes. And uh, exactly. true knowledge about the kingdom of God. Yes. True knowledge about important things. But, yes, uh, otherwise you're not responding to Jesus' right. question put to him. What's the greatest of all the commandments? Yes. Listen, Israel. This is yes. a signature tune right. of Israel. Yeah. It's the Jewish confession of faith, yes, but yes. it's actually the Christian confession of yes, faith. Absolutely. Because guess what? Jesus affirmed it. Yes. At that point it becomes Christianized. Yes, That's it's right. a Jewish confession of faith. <laughs> but yes, it's equally right. the Christian confession of faith, absolutely. Mark 12. Right. And uh, doesn't Jesus then s soundly uh, mm -hmm. affirm that mm -hmm. uh, in his own terms, his own words in John 17 and 3, mm -hmm. where yes. that there's a direct reference then to him mm -hmm. and his recognition, yes. uh, irrespective of, uh, yeah. of uh, what anyone had said before. Jesus is telling us the Father Absolutely. is the only yes. true God. In so many prayers in the Bible, that is affirmed. You know, mm -hmm. they, they, and we should do this in our own prayer life. We affirm and tell God who He is, that we fully understand yes, that He's yes, one yes, single person. Yes. I think that's an excellent practice. We can, we can even recite the Shema, the Hero Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Yes, we yes. can put it in Hebrew, Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Mm. Not that we're going to the Jewish roots or anything like that, but it doesn't yeah. hurt yeah. to impress this on our children. This Certainly. is absolutely solemn. Yeah. It's like the national anthem. <laughs> yes, it's like yes. the Pledge of Allegiance. Yes, yes. It's the central confession, Certainly. and we need to be absolutely clear on that. Unfortunately, right. though, right. church history shows that we waffled on that mm -hmm. and with dire consequences. <laughs> and uh, one thing here, too, Anthony, I think mm -hmm. we're seeing this here, and then particularly, we'll see it again under uh, the issues mm -hmm. of uh, what's being referred to as deacons, but yes. we could have some question about Paul's full intent about the role of, of, uh, of the women in the congregation. Right. Uh, right. we, we talked about we have to take these things in balance mm -hmm. and consider all of what mm -hmm. Paul has said uh, mm -hmm. in that regard. Mm -hmm. But it does seem to me, uh, and this seems to reinforce what we were saying earlier, that yes. when it comes to the issue of those in authority, yeah. that doesn't seem to fall to the women to be in no. that particular place or that right. role. And I think, uh, I think it's right. And that, uh, there's a number of reasons that makes sense. Can we put it this way, that Paul doesn't burden the women. Have, have right. we noticed, I think we have, that the men don't get to bear the children? Yes. That's a huge responsibility. It is. And that's, so that's, that's where right. the woman's chief responsibility right. is. Now, I think there are women who have perhaps unwisely taken the title where mm -hmm. they're not really functioning in mm -hmm. an authoritative mm -hmm. position. I mean, they may be good sure. organized, yeah. all that. Sure. All that's fine. Right. But it is important to maintain that distinction mm -hmm. In a, in a correct right. way. If we're claiming to be biblical, we need to go with the letter of the text, I think, Absolutely. in this regard. Absolutely. But um, again, it seems clear here that when it comes to the, the business of mm -hmm. uh, those who are overseers, yes. and now we're talking about an office, yes. not just a function, right. but, an office. but an office, yes. and uh, which of course has function. Yes. But then we expect to find uh, uh, that this is men who... We're talking about his children. We're yes. talking about uh, men who would manage his own household, yes. a man who would manage his own household right. well. And, it, and if uh, married, they have to be the husband of one wife. It, doesn't, it yeah. does not say they have to be they married. They have to be married. Otherwise, yeah. Paul would have disqualified That's right. Them. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. That's a very wooden, that normal doesn't, thing. doesn't work well at all. Now, if they've been divorced, let's say, 30 years before, I think that's not relevant here. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's not a fact that divorce and remarriage would be the unforgivable sin mm -hmm. that would mark you for the rest of your life. So the point here of a husband and one wife would be solidly married at yes. the point in which we're considering Certainly. as a candidate Certainly. for office. I think that's the natural way to take that way, yeah. to take those things. And, uh, and those are things that could be looked at on an individual yeah. basis yes. as, as a congregation right. moved along, as yeah. people moved along. Good family man. Surely. 
yeah. with all those good qualities. Yeah. Verse verse eight. Mm-hmm. The deacons. Deacons mm-hmm. likewise must be dignified, mm. not double tongued, mm. not addicted to much wine. There's that yeah, same again. caution. Yeah. Not greedy for dishonest gain. So that's the concern of yes. not in love with money again, I think. Indeed. Okay. Uh, they must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. Yes. And let them also be tested first. Wow. Uh, so mm. we're, we're, again, not the novice, not the brand new or yes. the relatively new person. Yes. Let them be tested first. Let's, yes. let's get to know these people. Yes. Let's see, see what they're... Uh, then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves mm-hmm. blameless. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Their wives likewise mm-hmm. must be dignified, mm-hmm. not slanderers, mm-hmm. but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let deacons each be the husband of one wife, so managing their children and their own households yeah. well. Yeah. Wow, it's almost a parallel right down the oh, line with, the, uh, yes. with what we just read about the yeah. overseers. It's a lesser office, obviously. Yes. It's a ordinary so. office. To More of a, a, a role system. of an assistant. Uh, but he must be able to yeah, teach, too, surely. and to yes. defend in other, in other texts. Absolutely. Defend the doctrine. Yes. A good teacher. And the women there may, in fact, just be the wives, mm-hmm. uh, rather than a special category of deaconesses. Sure. It doesn't matter. We, yeah, can, we can do that, too, if yeah. we want to do it, but yeah. it isn't expressed this day. We, we, yeah. And Phoebe was a deacon. She was a diaconess. Yeah, that's right. She was a financial supporter, yes, probably, which surely. again gives the lie to the idea that all the women that day were incompetent and totally didn't do not. anything. That's, that's certainly not true. There were leading true ladies no. who had good businesses. Absolutely. Right? And I think yes. Phoebe was one of those. Help the church, yeah. a prostatis in Greek. Yes, yes. Meaning a financial yeah. supporter, really. Yeah. And uh, in many ways, I can picture the uh, the deacons, uh, whoever they may be, uh, the, maybe the, the word deacon doesn't come across to us with the clarity that it should, but right. more in the role of assistance to the elders, Certainly. to the yep. those who mm-hmm. are the overseers, mm-hmm. uh, and taking various roles that would help them. You mm-hmm. kind of get the picture a little bit in Acts 6, I think. Yeah, you have those yes. uh, those fellows being right. coming along, and yes. they are assisting, if you yes. will, in the roles to yes. take responsibilities yes. from, in that case, That's the right. apostles, yes. who then could, as they uh, yes. as they said, we're going to devote ourselves to yes. to the way to the word of God and to and prayers prayer, and to the more, yeah. yeah. So it makes good sense. Others right. taking those roles. I see something good kind management. of along that line here. I do too. Yeah. Good management. And it all sense. makes good sense. Mm-hmm. And if we have, but it's important that they be good people, not oh, yes. not new, not mm-hmm. unstable, solid folks mm-hmm. that people could really mm-hmm. feel confident mm-hmm. about. And of course. Trust. Yeah, sure. So uh, then verse 13 there mm-hmm. said, uh, for those who serve well as deacons, gain a good standing for themselves mm-hmm. and also great confidence in the faith that is in Christ Jesus, mm-hmm. Messiah Jesus. I like yes, that. absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Confidence, high standing. Yes, and certainly teaching does give you confidence, doesn't it? If you do enough of it and if you subject yourself to yes, reasonable yes. criticism, you refine your skills. Right. And the more you meditate on these things, mm-hmm. read around the subject, engage right. the subject, the more confidence you obtain in it. Yeah. The, uh, so I like that. Eh? The, mm-hmm. uh, then in verse 14, mm-hmm. I hope to come to you soon. But I'm writing these things to you so that, if I delay, Mm. you may know how one ought to behave Mm. in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, a pillar and buttress of the truth. Yes. Great indeed, we confess, is the mystery of godliness. Mm -hmm. He was manifested in the flesh, vindicated by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on in the world, and taken up yes. into glory. Wow, I like Isn't that. Isn't that marvelous? That's Beautiful a real confession. That. It's yes. not, not just Christian living. You know, it is Christian living. Yes. Every doctrine is Christian sure. living. But it's a statement about this faith that we're involved in. Excellent. Now, there is a point in 16 that we need to mention. The King James has God was ma- revealed in the flesh. And there's a little trick oh, yes, of course. in the manuscripts there that the word theos, which would have been abbreviated to a theta, that's a, a TH and an S. And you can easily produce theos from the word os, which is O-S. Yes. Imagine a big O and an S, mm-hmm. which means he who. Modern translations have corrected this. Almost certainly a corruption, trying to push the idea eventually of the Trinity. Mm-hmm. Although mm-hmm. Jesus is a manifestation of God, it's mm-hmm. quite clear, he reflects the Father, that's mm-hmm. not wrong. 
But the better translation would have, from a, a more stable manuscript, he who, us, rather exactly. than theos, yeah. was revealed in the flesh, he was, as a human being, human person, vindicated in his spirit life, right, throughout mm -hmm. his life. He's mm -hmm. always in the right through the right. spirit, seen by angels, that's nice, mm -hmm. proclaimed among the nations as Messiah, mm -hmm. believed on as Messiah in the world, and then ascending to glory. Yes. Not going back to the Father, right, as mistranslated right. in John right. sixteen twenty-eight right. in the NIV, not going back to the Father, going to the Father, ascending to the Father, mm -hmm. going to sit at the right hand of the Father with the Bible's favorite mm -hmm. proof text of all, yes. Psalm 110, and 10 and one, one where God yes. speaks to non-God. Yeah, okay. Good. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's actually very beautiful. And this, yes, it is. this passage isn't difficult, is it? No. Really, it's actually very simple. The, we're saying he was manifested, mm. the one who was. Yes. That's beautiful. Exactly. It, it was, uh, I know in my, uh, in my oneness uh, mm -hmm. background, mm -hmm. uh, I relied quite a lot on that verse uh, and the, uh, the King James statement, God was mm -hmm. uh, manifested. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, uh, uh, that doesn't hold well at all, so I, I had to modify myself of there. And modify. Of but he, uh, the one who was manifest in the flesh, was vindicated by the mm -hmm. Spirit. He was seen of angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on the world. And I like this too. Notice the passive. He was taken up yes. into glory. He didn't by, even go up God. on his own. He no, was taken up. God. I like that. A divine passive. Yeah. That word vindicated is interesting. It's exactly the same word as justified. I think vindicated makes good sense. He was proven to be right rather than wrong. And that's yes, justification yes. Mm. by faith. You're either right with God or wrong with God. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. Mm -hmm. We've made such a fuss about some of these <laughs> theological terms. Okay. Vindicated, justified, in the right, not in the wrong. Mm -hmm. That's what we all aim to have as our approval from mm -hmm. God and Jesus, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like this. He, if Paul is uh, writing to him. He said, I'm hoping to come to you pretty soon. Mm. He had left him there, as it were, to carry on and help yeah. the people. And yeah. But Paul is hoping to come back soon, yeah. I think. But he said, if I don't get back for a while, he said, I want you to know how the word here, behave, I, probably mm. it's more like how to conduct Absolutely. yourself and Absolutely. how to conduct these matters. Of course, you know? eminently practical. So, yeah. So, uh, the church is the living God, the pillar and support of the truth. In yes. Second Thessalonians uh, 2. Yeah. If you don't have a passion for truth, Paul said, mm. you're not going to be saved. Mm. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 10. Right, so yes, nobody yes. having a, a weak, a pallid view of the right, truth. You right. better insist on the truth. Because guess what? If you don't, you're going to be into lies. Yes. And lies are not getting you anywhere. Exactly. And they're getting you nowhere right. fast. The, the so work, they work against us. Yes, Absolutely. Indeed. Truth yeah, like at that. all costs. So uh, one thing I've uh, noticed, too, uh, going back for a mm -hmm. moment to the beginning of this chapter mm -hmm. before we move on, but uh, the word overseer, we were talking about, actually, there are a number of words that are yes. essentially interchangeable. Yes. Or, same office. Uh, but here we have, uh, is it not episkopos mm -hmm. that in the, in the Greek? Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes translated bishop, mm -hmm. sometimes as here overseer, mm -hmm. sometimes another term mm -hmm. might be used. Uh, yep. But it's all the same, same word, no yep. difference to Paul. Yep. He, he's not making right. those distinctions. Right. So I think there's mm -hmm. false distinctions being made sometimes. Yes, in that. absolutely. Yeah. Presbyter, you know, is the English word, but that's yeah. another yeah. name. It's much easier than sure. the complicated systems that emerge. Surely, yeah. Again, with the concentration of power at the top, it right. was easy to control, easier to control the whole church, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which led to a thousand years of Roman Catholicism, mm -hmm. incidentally, that whole system which we are questioning with our, our Certainly. particular yeah. slant on history, suggesting right. that from the second century onwards, under the influence of mm -hmm. Greek philosophy, right. as opposed to the right. very Hebraic mm -hmm. writers uh, and leaders in the New Testament, right. everything changed. Yes. This is well known in history. For People sake, should yes. open their history mm -hmm. books and see that observers have noted that that happened. That's the disaster mm -hmm. from which we're trying to recover. I was thinking about this too, Anthony, and uh, as we read through the uh, what's often called qualifications for the yes. overseers or mm -hmm. qualifications for deacons, but they're really things that generally would tend to apply to all of the people of God. I would think so. Uh, and we would so. expect that if you're going to be a successful mm. uh, Christian, mm. a successful follower of mm -hmm. Christ, you're not going to be a lover of money. He talked about, Jesus talked sure. about that. He talked about all these things in one way or another. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't want to be a drunkard. <laughs> this would not be good. Gosh, uh, so, Gosh, uh, and this goes on. Sober-minded, self-control, mm -hmm. respectable. Yeah. But that would apply to all the people, I think. 
But we would certainly want to make sure that those who take roles of leading others, Absolutely. leadership, that they certainly would be yes. uh, attentive to these things and would uh, d- uh, certainly would be qualified in these various yes. ways. Not that no one ever could possibly mess up, but we certainly don't want, right. to see, uh, we don't want to see people right. who are if people uh, tended to right. these problems. If uh, they make a choice not to touch alcohol, that's perfectly fine. Sure. That's their oh, choice yeah. and is respected in sensible society across sure. the world. But what is not right is to say that the Greek word enos, which is wine, really mm. means grape juice. Yes. That then becomes an exercise in dishonesty. Right, it makes right. one more righteous than Jesus. Yes. One would have pointed one's finger at him at the wedding. Exactly. And Paul would have said, don't get drunk on grape juice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And that makes Which makes no sense whatsoever. Yes. That makes absolutely no sense. This is not a problem until we created a That's problem. <laughs> Let's not do that. That's right. <laughs> That's we, we, uh, we might... Uh, find ourselves unhappily if Jesus were to come visit our church, yes. we might put him out because he, uh, he was not measuring up to our standards regarding uh, some of these simple things. So we think. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that something? Uh, what would Jesus make of a triune God on, on the books of oh my church? Lands. That's right. uh, I'm not sure that he would find that in any way compatible. He no. wasn't a Trinitarian. Absolutely. Would not have known what that was, I think. He was a good Jewish Christian Absolutely. person and a model teacher for us, we might then consider following his greatest commandment <laughs> in Mark twelve yeah. twenty nine. Yeah. That has yet to happen, I think. Uh, so and as I think we uh, we were commenting uh, earlier, I think Paul likewise would have been appalled yeah, at uh, uh, the kinds of things that uh, we we're seeing nowadays in Christianity. Uh, the idea well, that yes. uh, the idea that God is. Uh, uh, a uh, committee <laughs> yeah. or multiple persons uh, whatever you want to say it's just all wrong and Paul would have you would have scratched his head said, what are you talking about I what know. are you people doing here for goodness sake well they say well it's our tradition he'd say well then you need to get your tradition out of this uh, out of the picture yeah, with, with that huge statement of Jesus in vain they worship mm. teaching for teachings the yes. commandments of men yes and Jesus saying that salvation is from the Jews. Mm, mm. Paul saying, what advantage does the Jew have? Well, he was given the oracles of God. Yes. Are we paying attention uh, with the greatest respect to yes. the oracles of God delivered to the Jews? Yes. yes. I'm not sure that we I are. I don't know that we are. We right. sort of read our yeah. traditional tr- yeah. Trinitarian yeah. stuff back. That's right. At, at the cost of sanity, when oh in Genesis goodness, 19, 24, you have Yahweh rained brimstone from Yahweh. Yes, yes. The earliest church fathers, and some even in our day, say, there you go, you've got two Yahwehs. That's really <laughs> absurd because Solomon gathered to Solomon. Yes. <laughs> Come on now, this is an easy thing. Yes. Any decent commentary should talk you out of that. But My we goodness, seem yes. desperate <laughs> to hang on to evident foolishness My to defend our yeah. tradition. We don't want it's, to do that. It's, it's just completely awful. Wow. And harms the faith of people. Absolutely. And the one true God. Yeah. And uh, as God is chasing off in other directions, yes. looking for God yeah. in, uh, uh, in other ways, mm-hmm. and it's just, it's awful. Yeah. 